Not only do I not care that he used bots, but I knew he did. It's evident that Drake supporters are clinging to this Kendrick Lamar controversy. There has been significant conjecture over the usage of bots over the past day or so, especially from the latter. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. DJ Academics, of course, has been leading the charge as one of those drizzy loyalists. He brought on a purported stream botter who was being paid off by Kendrick Lamar's manager, Anthony Sale, in an attempt to support his theory that the Canadian musician had won the match. He has a screenshot showing the $2,500 compensation from the Zelle transfer. That being said, not many people are purchasing this online, suggesting that it might be a scam. However, Joe Budden is among those who genuinely think Kendrick Lamar used bots. Y'all didn't know that Kendrick used bots? A podcast tape featuring X and a debate on the same subject was provided. Joe Budden even goes so far as to say in the 40-second breakdown that he was aware Lamar was inflating his numbers in order to surpass Drake. I thought that this was just the first time miraculously that a Drake record ever had more dislikes than likes or you didn't know that that was bots. Even if everything is still up in the air, this might cast doubt on how domineering Kung Fu Kenny was throughout the feud. If this is the case, though, Joe would be unable to care less, try as he might. Bots, to me, was a part of how you win the war versus Drake. Button also went on to claim that Drake was also a culprit of bot usage during this, which is another interesting development. As expected, there were several Drake fans who were not happy with his take. Bitter Button strikes again. How you gonna sit there and act like botting streams is normal and accepted. Drake never had a chance with these fools. One controversial character in hip-hop culture is Joe Button. People have referred to him as a hypocrite, particularly in relation to his private life. Additionally, as evidenced by his controversial Lil Yachty interview, he has been dubbed a hater. Still, the ex-rapper raises some valid issues. Ak, you gotta know that any Drake news coming from you looks away now. After giving DJ Academics recent Drake coverage some thought, he realized there was an issue. Button believes that fans can't trust Ak because of his prejudice toward the Six God. Ak is the one on stream during the NBA Finals. In a Joe Button podcast episode, Button explained everything. Although he praised DJ Academics for his journalism abilities, he took issue with how Ak shared it. Good journalistic shit you was doing, Ak. He used the latest bot accusations against Kendrick Lamar during the NBA Finals as an excellent illustration. But you gotta know that any Drake news coming from you is viewed through a different type of eye. The issue according to the ex-member of Slaughterhouse, is Ak's friendship with Drake. Joe Budden accurately pointed out that if Ak attempts to stand up for Drake, it will appear as though the rapper is giving him instructions. He said, it sounds like a mission sent from Drake. He suggests taking a few plays off for Drake and DJ Academics, particularly after the tremendously successful pop-out concert by Kendrick Lamar. On June 10th, Kendrick Lamar set the rap world ablaze. At the Ken and Friends concert, he gave a riveting performance. He not only announced an incredible guest list, but he also continued to criticize Drake with his platform. During his performance of the diss track Euphoria, the Compton rapper changed the lyrics and addressed the six god directly, defying the plan. The takeaway, never treat Tupac disrespectfully. Kendrick Lamar got rid of the Euphoria light. Matter of fact, I ain't even bleed him yet, can I bleed him? It was replaced with a significantly more damning statement that confirmed our collective suspicions. He has no regard for Drake. Give me Tupac, read back and I might give you a new respect. He rapped. The ring in question was bought by Drake back in 2023. The Toronto rapper purchased the artifact for $1 million, according to Billboard. He's flaunted the ring on Instagram and worn it during several interviews. Drake made a similar purchase when he netted 2.6 million dollars worth of Farrell's jewelry. He even flaunted the latter during the Family Matters video. Neither of these purchases sat well with Kendrick Lamar. It's evident from the Compton rapper that Tupac is an icon in the music industry. Some of Lamar's most incensed bars are influenced by the idea that Drake is the owner of one of Pac's most valuable items. You think the Baygon let you disrespect Pac, N.A. He asked Don not like us. Even before he began rapping, Dot had a deep respect for Tupac. He said that as a child, he went to see the California Love video set. Years later, he ended his iconic album to pimp a butterfly with a rare interview with Pac. In 2015, Dot also wrote a memorial to the deceased rapper. I was eight years old when I first saw you, he recalled. I couldn't describe how I felt at that moment. So many emotions, full of excitement, full of joy and eagerness. 20 years later, I understand exactly what that feeling was. Inspired. During the pop-out performance, Kendrick Lamar completed the Circle of the Pack experience. When Dr. Dre joined him on stage, they sang California Love together. Naturally, Dre wrapped his stanza before Dot filled in for Tupac. It has been around a month and a half since Kendrick Lamar and Drake went to war. 
but a lot of Drake fans just haven't moved on from their artist's loss. What's your bank account, brother? Just what, speak your truth. All right, fuck it, bro. It's Anthony Salaya. Watching a DJ academic stream would show you that the commentator is always looking for fresh ways to show why Kendrick isn't the winner in this whole situation. In general, the idea that Lamar has been stream botting on YouTube and Spotify is one of the approaches that some have taken. That's who paid me. That's just the name that was on the account that I got paid by. A person claimed to have been paid off by Kendrick Lamar's team to increase his streams by 30 million was featured on academic stream last night. And that's how I feel, and I'm scared, obviously. For all of this, how much was the man paid? $2,500 it seems. Soon after he made his claims, supporters demanded evidence. They later obtained it in the form of a screenshot of a Zelle transaction where the man was paid $2,500 by Anthony Sale LLC. For those who might not be aware, Sale oversees Kendrick. But, 50 and a few online detectives claim that this screenshot might be a hoax. According to 50 and other comments, Anthony Sale LLC isn't actually a registered LLC in any of the 50 states in the United States. There are still a lot of gaps in the story that may be explored, even though the money may have been made by an unregistered LLC. For example, $2,500 seems excessive given the request. Furthermore, the song doesn't really require the increase in streams as it is already a huge hit. Fans are obviously not buying the story at this time, and before that changes, they will require additional evidence. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.